Hey guys, it's Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we look at the basics of SketchUp, the simple tools that make SketchUp everything that it is. Today, we're going to take a look at the rectangle tool. Let's hop right in. Okay, so disclaimer, it is totally possible to take the line tool and draw a rectangle using just lines. You can do that. We're going to take a look at the rectangle command because there's a couple options in rectangle that make it easier to draw certain types of rectangles. At the very least, it's half the number of clicks to put it in. So I'm going to choose the rectangle tool either by clicking rectangle from the toolbar at the top. You'll notice there's a little, little arrow right there, which means there's actually multiple nested commands. Rectangle is by default in this toolbar nested with the rotate rectangle, circle, and polygon tools. Today, we're just going to take a look at the rectangle tool. Rectangle tool is also in the large toolbar. So if I go to tool view tool palettes on Mac or toolbars on Windows, I can turn on the large tool set and it's right up here at the top. There's also a shortcut key. So if you're ever, if you're a big fan of shortcut keys, you hit the R key. That's the default command for a rectangle. Now a rectangle is very simple. So like I said, it's half the clicks of what we just did with the line. So I click to place one corner and then I move my mouse and click to place the next. Simple rectangle, it does exactly what it said. Now this was, this was an arbitrary shape. I just kind of picked a couple points. If I want an exact dimension, I can click my first point and start to move in the direction I want the rectangle to go. Now down here in the lower right corner, my dimensions bar, it's gonna show as I move this around how big that rectangle is. So all you have to do to get an exact size is literally just type it in. Don't come down here and try to click down here. That's gonna cause problems. All you have to do is type I'm going to do two foot by three foot, so I'm going to do two foot comma three foot and just hit enter. There we go. That is now a two foot by three foot rectangle. Don't do this. Well, I see people doing this all the time where they're, they're, they're hovering and they're, they're trying to get really close and then they zoom in a little closer, try to get closer. This, this is just, this is heartache and pain right here. Yes, you could do it. You probably could zoom in enough that you could move that second point to the exact spot, but you could you could drink motor oil, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't do this. You should just type in the value you need. Now, a couple of inferences that only show up on rectangles are happening here. One is my square inference. See that? See a little dashed line shows up? That shows up anytime I'm drawing a perfect square. It also says square underneath my cursor there. The other is a perfect rectangle, a golden section. So if I, if my attributes, my le length and my width are proper, then I'll actually get that golden section rectangle. So those dot dashed lines show up anytime I have either a golden rectangle or a perfect square. So here's a little practice I want to throw out there for, no, actually before we do it, let's talk about one more way to draw a rectangle. So I'm going to hit R to go back in a rectangle. And before I start drawing, I'm going to tap the option key on Mac or control on Windows, and notice how our, our, inference, or our cursor changes there. Right now, the little preview rectangle is right in the middle. See that? So if I click and start dragging, I'm actually drawing a rectangle from the center rather than edge to edge. Now, if I type in a dimension, that's not from the center to my cursor. That's the whole rectangle size. So if I want another two foot by three foot rectangle, I can just type two foot comma three foot and what it'll do is it'll put that same size rectangle I have over here, only it's placing it based off of the middle location that I started rather than edge to edge. If I tap Option or Control again, it'll toggle back to the corner. Now, here's a great way to practice drawing rectangles. So I drew this big rectangle on the ground. What I want to do now is I want to turn this rectangle into an actual box. So I'm not going to use lines, I'm not going to use push-pull. I'm actually going to use just the rectangle command. One of the things I can do with rectangle is I can snap my inferencing. So as I've drawn all these rectangles so far, I've drawn them on the ground. You can see that little, that little blue preview rectangle that I'm seeing right there is blue. And once I click and start dragging, it turns blue. But look what happens if I hit the left arrow key. I'm going to tap left arrow key once, and it turns green and stands up on the edge. What this means is I can click to this point right here and start dragging it this way. Now, we're, we're dipping our toe in the waters of inferencing. You can't help but use inferencing when drawing in SketchUp. So I click to this point and I'm dragging a rectangle up. What I want this rectangle to be is the full side here. So I'm gonna come over here and just, just briefly for a second, I'm not gonna click, but just hover over this endpoint and then start moving my mouse up. And that's putting in a rectangle 
that is exactly the same width as the ones on the ground. So I'm gonna move it up here and click. I'm not using exact dimensions here, just showing you guys how to use this. Now I wanna put it on this side. So in this time, before I even click anything, I'm gonna hit the right arrow key. Tapping the right arrow key locks me on the red axis. So I'm gonna click right here. And this time, instead of inferencing here, I'm just gonna come up till it snaps to that endpoint right there. Now, this is a cool thing about drawing rectangles with inferencing is I wanna put another one on the side here. I don't actually have to inference this one because if I click right here, see I'm not actually locked to the blue axis. If I hit up key on the keyboard, see how it turns bold like that? So right now it just happens to be on the blue axis. If I move over this side, it'll turn to red. This will turn to green. But if I tap the up arrow and it turns that darker blue, those thicker lines, now it's locked in that blue axis. So it has to stay there. If I hit up again, it'll release that inferencing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna drag over here. And as soon as it sees, oh, here's a thing to, to, to inference over here, it jumps onto the red axis, see that? If I come back down here on the ground, it's gonna to go to blue. If I come over here, it's gonna to inference to green. So what I wanna do is put one right here and then I'm gonna put one more, just click right here and then click right here. And this is gonna actually give me two rectangles because it's gonna close this side and then this line going across here is gonna close the top and put a rectangle there too. So there you go. That is an overview. It's everything I could think to show you about rectangles as well as a fun uh, way to practice drawing them. So we'll get more into inferencing down the line. We'll get into some more inference locking, that kind of stuff. But just using that left and right arrow key is enough to get that box in there uh, using just the rectangle key. Hopefully you like that. If you like that or you learned anything at all, please click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here, including one of these SketchUp Square One videos each week. And you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. Most if not all of our comment, all of our content nowadays comes from suggestions from the comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something that you wanna see. Thank you.